What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This is Ask Me Anything, August edition. I'm doing it fairly early at this point and that's mostly because uh, I need to get a ton of videos done uh, because I'm actually going out of town. I'll do, I'll talk about this in a separate video, um, but I am going to the Samsung event and uh, that's part of the reason, but beyond that, again, I'll talk about this in another video, but let's jump into the Ask Me Anything. It's going to be two parts uh, this month. It'll be back to back days. So let's jump into the first part here. I'll answer about maybe 10 to 12 questions in this one. So again, let's start up. First question comes from JP13. What are your thoughts on the sound on display for the Galaxy Note 10? Will it sound better or worse than having a traditional speaker? Now, what he's talking about is that they're going to supposedly, and the rumor is, have all the sound come from the display and then there'll be a speaker at the bottom. If they end up doing that, um, do I have high hopes for it? High hopes for it? Will it sound just as good or better? I've heard some people say it sounds worse than having just two random speakers at the bottom um, or having the speaker in the earpiece. We'll have to wait and see. Um, it I sh doesn't really bother me either way. I have, I, I have a feeling it'll sound just as good or bad as any other stereo speakers that they would have implemented. Phil PG Davis says, Greg, can you please bring back your old intro? Ev intro? Even if you shorten it, it really hooked me to your channel. Phil? Probably won't bring it back on a regular basis, but here, I'll play a little snippet for you right now. Now, Mr. D's product review channel gave me a ton of questions, like literally 20 questions in one. I'm not gonna answer all of them. I'm gonna choose some from it though. Um, number one, where did you and your wife meet? We met on Facebook. She saw a video of me singing um, I sang a song, I was playing guitar, and uh, I'm Massachusetts, and I'm missing my mom. Uh, singing at my friend's wedding, and uh, she had a mutual friend that was tagged in that video, and she saw me singing, she reached out to me saying, hey, do you have more music? And that's how we started talking. Another question from Mr. D is, how many states have you lived in and what do you like most about each of them? So I've only lived in two states, Massachusetts and California. Um, for Massachusetts, I love the seasons, so I really miss fall. Um, yeah, uh, I really miss the fall. Uh, that would be the thing I missed most about Massachusetts. I also miss some of the food back there. Um, California, what do I like most about it? I would probably say, ah, I know. I, I love that, in, at least where I live in San Diego, like I can be anywhere in almost 15 or 20 minutes just by taking the highway. It's really fast to get anywhere by car in San Diego. And here's one more question I'll answer from him. How mechanically inclined are you? I am zero mechanically inclined, basically. If I if you asked me to, to put something together, uh, um, I'd have a tough time. I usually have to have someone help me with it uh, or fix something mechanical. I just can't, It's it racks, I can't do it. So I always have to have someone help me with it. Balthazar, 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 what's better by S11 plus 5G, Note 10 plus 5G, or the Galaxy S10 5G? I would eliminate right off the bat the S10 5G just because it's gonna be last year's technology or not last year's but previous generation technology so at that point if i would rock it to the s11 5g or the note 10 5g so the note 10 5g obviously is going to have the s pen and a, a big screen just like the s10 5g has it's gonna have more ram than the s10 5g has so i'd, I'd pick the note 10 plus um, and then if you don't need the s pen i would say go with the s11 5g it's obviously gonna have better camera a faster processor whoever knows what else. Jay Brown says, would you go back to a nine to five job? If so, what would it be? Um, I would definitely go back to a nine to five job if I have to. And what would it be if I, if I had to go back to one, I would want to do something where I can just work from home and do it from online. I really don't want to go into an office and, and, and deal with a boss every single day. So I would, it would be that kind of job. Migsby asks, how soon are you expecting the Note 10 to arrive when you pre-order? So the, the rumor is it's going to arrive on August 23rd, um, but as you know in the past, when people pre-order these phones, they generally come sometimes seven to 10 days earlier uh, than the official release date. So I would expect it somewhere in that range. I would expect the phones to start arriving sometime between August 16th and then a few days before the 23rd of August. So somewhere in that range. 
Kirk Michaela is asking, hi, love watching your videos. When is OnePlus coming out with another phone? So it should be the OnePlus 7T, plus T, or whatever they end up calling it. And I would expect it to come out in the, probably the, the, the late fall or, yeah, I guess the late fall at that point. So you're probably looking at maybe October, November of this year. Michael Jones is asking, is the Note 10 still gonna have a sound on display? If so, what are your thoughts on it? Kinda already answered this one earlier. Um, it's Last I heard, it's going to have it. And what are my thoughts on it? Nothing really. I just hope it sounds as good as true regular traditional stereo speakers do. Again, there should still be a speaker at the bottom of the phone, so you shouldn't have to worry about that one, but it's the one built into the phone. I think it'll sound fine. Phil Davis, if I buy an unlocked phone and stay with my carrier, do I get all their bloatware or is it an option? So that's the beauty of an unlocked phone is you're not gonna have any bloatware on there. You'll have Google apps and Samsung apps by default. Now, when you're setting up your phone, if you're transferring from your old phone to your new phone and your old phone has those bloatware apps, yes, it'll bring those over, but you can uninstall them and delete them. So it, in actuality, does it have bloatware on there? No. Paul Erlanda is asking, hey Greg, is, it, is this your son? LOL, just kidding, brother. Uh, he's talking about the picture I used. It's just for, I know he's joking anyway, but yeah, it's from uh, that face app where you can make yourself look old or add hair or beard and stuff like that. Kind of a, a cool, funny app. And uh, no, it's me, dude. Wayne Brooks asks, are you invited to the Samsung Unpacked event? If so, are you going? I may have missed the video where you announced if you're going, just curious. Are you getting the 6.8 inch with 5G? That's the one I'm getting. If uh, in ceramic, luxurious white with rose gold frames, 12 gigs of RAM, or and 512 or one terabyte of storage. Then I may hold on to the Note 10 5G for five years. So am I going to the event? Yes, bought my plane ticket, all that stuff. Um, so yes, I will be there. And I'll have more in t about that in a, in a life update uh, video that I'll be putting out shortly as well. Um, which version, I'm definitely getting the large version, the Note 10 Plus, the 6.8 or 6.75 version, whatever you wanna call it. 5G version, I guess it just depends on if I can get it unlocked, if the price isn't too crazy, those are the two de determining factors, but yes, I would get the 5G version. Uh, yeah, I think that answers your phone. Storage-wise, I can live with 256, but if I have to go to 512, I will. One terabyte, I don't need it, and I think the price is gonna be crazy. And the last question from Buddhist Eldar, are we still getting the trade-up value for our phones if we reserved before? So he's so yeah, I'll, I'll answer that. And uh, yes, you will get the trade-in values that you were guaranteed when you reserved the phone. They've since changed it, and now it shows like special trade-in price on August 7th. It's probably still gonna be the same. I don't know why they did that. Maybe it'll be less, but I think you'll be fine. I, I, I would highly doubt they'd go against what they were showing previously for people that have already reserved the phone. Your, the rest of your question says, and what do we send them, just the phone or some of the accessories? just the phone you do not need to send the accessories you don't have to send the box just send the phone and they'll detail that in the email guys thanks for watching that is everything from today like i said i will make a part two of my q a for august i'll release it most likely the next day after i release this one uh the other part is this is i'm going to go into a, a life update of what i've got coming up uh, for the week of the samsung unpacked event because um uh, I won't be in my home office, so I'll get more into that. And again, in another video, just because I have to finish so many videos um, ahead of time because uh, I won't be in this office. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys down the road. Peace.